So something I realized I forgot to talk about in my last video is uh, something that I will uh, be talking about in this one, partially because it affects the subject of this uh, video. Twitter banned me for a year and a half on some bullshit. Um, and they banned me uh, because I, uh, I, I did platform manipulation and spam. And uh, basically, uh, they eventually admitted that they couldn't prove that I did any of that. And um, when they unsuspended my account, because my account was full on suspended for, you know, uh, one and a half fucking years. When when they did that, they uh, they they basically admitted that all the reasons that they had sent out to everyone who they had told, like, hey, yeah, we banned Jeremiah finally. Um, you're welcome. Those reasons that they gave were all bullshit because otherwise. I'd still be banned if I was an abusive, uh, manipulative, uh, you know, disinformative, fucking harassing stalker, whatever you want to say. There were so many people who just popped out, like, screenshots of their successful reports of my account and celebrated, did their little fucking powwow dance, um, around the burning corpse of my, um... <laughs> of my my Twitter empire that I had been building for uh, t twelve years at that point. I don't know, ten years. I I think something. I don't know, a long fucking time, like a decade at least. Um, and I just thought that that would be a good way to start off this video. That Twitter, uh, is like you know, uh, lied about, like, my content and a bunch of other people's. Uh, and, and they did that in order to censor certain content because that's the only explanation. Like, around the January 6th thing, there was a bunch of purges and a bunch of other shit. Um, and that means that it is never a better time to talk about um, the, the free speech side of the internet. Um, and before I get into that, uh, I wanted to bring up two things. First off, Agris Nexus is now sponsored by uh, PreSearch, so you can support me by doing fucking internet searches. Uh, and you can also support the entire team at Agris Nexus by doing fucking internet searches. So, if that sounds like something you can do, like something easy that you can add to your repertoire, um, it doesn't just benefit us, it also... Uh, it's it's privacy forward. It doesn't like uh, it, it it doesn't implant cookies. Um, and the whole point of it is is that it's a decentralized blockchain based search uh, provider that uh, rewards uh, like people for staking certain currencies uh, so that they can get their like content in front of more eyes. They basically self fund. Uh, their platform by the blockchain. Um, and the pre-token can be spent to get your search term like higher in the rankings. It's like Google Ads. Uh, so click the link in the description. It's fucking free and you can support me for fucking free by signing up there. Um, but also, uh, to be clear, uh, this is sponsored by Brushfire2048. It is the sequel to a book written by uh, Matt, who's supported me before. And uh, if you want to support me as well, uh, it's about Christmas time. If you got a, a tinfoiler conspiracy theorist in your life, you can send him this fiction book, uh, which is about, you know, uh, the uh, future, the near future, and what it's going to look like. Um, but those things being said, basically, um, uh, the link is in the description for that, by the way. Those things being said, basically the reason I'm bringing up the free speech element here, um, and especially pre-search, is that a dangerous precedent has been set by the SEC um, in a ruling against uh, LBRY, which was the original name 
for the original platform before it forked into two different platforms with the same like blockchain, I think. But like basically the LBRY platform started the sort of uh, blockchain video uh, site revolution. I mean, there were some that were doing something like it, but none of them were as efficient because they didn't harness both the blockchain and torrent technology. Um, and it's basically, well, I mean, you know, software, whatever. Technology is the same uh, as any anything else. Either way, the point is that, like, they really did some pioneering here, right? Um, and as a result, they have a site that is good for free speech. It's really fucking good for free speech because, like, for instance, this video, this channel is synced with my uh, Odyssey account, which is the fork off of the original LBRY platform. And this uh, video will automatically be posted to that channel. Uh, I'm Insanity is Free on Odyssey if you want to follow me there. And basically, um, the uh, content is immediately and permanently preserved on the blockchain and served to people not only by a blockchain but by torrent technology where uh, people who watch the videos get paid to mine the videos while they're watching them uh, because the video is being uh, torrented uh, and they are a peer to that torrent uh, from their computer as they're on the fucking website. It's it's cool. It's cool software. Like, but people who don't like free speech, namely the U.S. government, want that gone. And just in time for the disinformation board to fire back up, which, by the way, that's back. And for those of you who didn't know the chick in the thumbnail, I was, uh, I, I, I did one of my hell edits on, um, basically she's the disinformation czar for that board. And, uh, she is, um, Nina Jankowicz, I think her name is. And she is, um, the chick who did all those TikToks that got really, really mocked. And then she, she was like, oh no, I cried a little bit when I, uh, got, uh did this, did this, thing for for the government um uh, online harassment it's so terrible uh i'm i'm leaving now and then they like paused it right for a certain period of time but it was just paused it wasn't canceled and all these fucking like like libertarians and uh republicans especially were like yeah we did it no you fucking didn't um and all of these things like Every time there's a weird celebration in Liberty Circles because of some government action um, or government uh, reduction, that reduction is handled post-haste or at least reversed in the way that, like, hey, we've got a bunch of other ways that we grew the state while we reduce the size of government here. Um, and so their disinformation board is coming back. And uh, platforms like YouTube and Facebook and Twitter um, are all part of the um, the same sort of informational control circle jerk, as you can see from my last video. So, with all of that in mind, the fact that it's fucking, like, <laughs> the fact that it's happening this way right now is kind of fucking convenient, don't you think? That right at the same time that free speech and free thought alternatives are being sort of criminalized, um, right at the same time as a crypto crash, um, places like uh, Library and Odyssey as a consequence are being shafted by the SEC in a summary ruling. A summary ruling is when they basically give uh, enough information to a judge that the judge says, yeah, you don't get trial. We're just going to say this. And, 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 and you have to eat it. And that's exactly what happened here. Um, and the, the people uh, responsible for this basically said that, and get this, since they said that it might be a good investment at some point, they fucking sold securities as part of interstate commerce. 
Um, and because of all of that, guess the fuck what? They're guilty of SEC violations and, like, tax fraud and a bunch of other shit. And, and <laughs> this is all stuff that they didn't really, like, push through a very strong trial. And they certainly didn't give these people a jury or anything like it. They just did a summary judgment where a judge was just like, yeah, that's, that's, that, I agree. And now, uh, the official, like, verdict is that LBRY lost. You know? LBRY lost that lawsuit. And now, uh, is being forced, uh, to abide by the terms of it. And that's really fucking bad for free speech spaces because the, as you know, if you've been based enough to subscribe and follow and bullshit my fucking uh, screeds here, you know that the blockchain is the way free speech fucking works. You know that because you know that free speech itself uh, relies on decentralization, and any platform that is decent er, that is centralized in any way is fundamentally anathema to free speech. Because if you're Twitter, you can ban who you want. You know, a as people found out very quickly when they broke TOS, and uh, free speech daddies started to ban them for breaking TOS. Because you know. A bunch of people thought that they could just get away with, you know, spewing whatever they wanted as long as they were, you know, uh, right wing enough. And a bunch of other people uh, thought that they could get away with parody in the form of pretending to be Elon Musk without saying it was parody in the name and bio. And they got banned. Um, you know where that wouldn't fucking happen? LBRY. You know where that wouldn't fucking happen? Bastion. You know? You know where you can push your content uh, basically for free by earning enough from searches to stake your stuff higher than other people's? Pre-search. Um, and, and when they start to threaten these blockchain assets and that which makes the fundamental underlying fabric of the networks by saying you're a security and if you have these you have securities they start to threaten free speech around the world everywhere at once that should be deeply fucking concerning to anybody who knows anything about this subject who has any stake in activism, or whistleblowing, or, you know, saying things, wrong thing. Anybody like me, who's been saying things that the state didn't want him to say for years, and who got banned for it uh, from multiple platforms, who writes for a, uh, a, a publication that literally <laughs> got censored from Facebook multiple times until we essentially just gave up starting new pages because uh, no reason actually given. No, no actually good reason given. Because the first suspension was because of a lack of ID. But Facebook knows who the fuck I am enough to pay me to make content at this point. So, it shouldn't have been a fucking mystery at that point. I should have been able to just do it, no hard feelings, and, you know, get back in. But no, it's a centralized platform. Twitter was a centralized platform when they banned me for a year and a half. Reddit is a centralized platform when they banned my first account. Um, TikTok, when they censored one of my videos and uh, eventually admitted that they were full of shit uh, because they accused me of hate speech for opposing Ukrainian Nazis. Uh, you know, uh, that's a centralized platform. And, and, and Discord, when my first account went poof, uh, you know, like, they're a centralized platform. And it's almost like these centralized platforms are a part of a massive mechanism uh, you know, that serves the interests of and is benefited by the state because it's the state. 
The state is the summary of the government, the mega corporations, the banks, the media, all of it. Big pharma, the prison industrial complex, military and intelligence industrial complexes. It's all the state. It's all state capitalism, baby. And when we get there, when we get to these centralized fucking platforms, gets the fuck what? It's not going to be free speech. Because it's centralized and because they can tell you you're banned. Versus places like Odyssey and Bastion who can't ban your content because it's permanently preserved on the blockchain. So if you want to say something, you know, that that might be uh, considered wrong think right now, even though things are being reversed all the time and people are asking for fucking pandemic amnesty! Um... You know, maybe those places uh, shouldn't have the ability to have an exclusive monopoly on fucking bullshit. And maybe lawsuits like this have a negative impact on alternatives. And maybe the state is trying to maintain its informational monopoly that I brought up in the last fucking video. And you should be concerned. And you should share this video fucking everywhere everywhere because they're coming for your speech they're coming for your ability to think for yourself they're coming for your finances if you disagree with them they're coming for everything that they that they've wanted forever and they are working diligently to isolate everything under one umbrella of control that is your digital id the literal mark of the fucking beast your biometrics your palm and your head your face it'll be in it'll be marks in your forehead right it'll be marks in your in in your hand right well hey that's coming in the form of bio fucking metrics and it's going to be connected to everything you do and everything that lets you participate in the fucking world And people thought I was crazy when I brought this up before. And people said that I was spreading misinformation when I brought this up before. So maybe I have a vested fucking stake in this kind of thing not coming to fruition and being stopped as soon as fucking possible and as vigorously as fucking possible. Just fucking maybe! There's a problem here, and just maybe this whole fascist notion of the government's control of information and the slow uh, drain of the, like, you know, alternatives, the slow destruction of their opponents, maybe that's a sign of fascism, and it's a reason that we all need to diligently and consistently oppose these motherfuckers everywhere they are, and never ever stop the fight to smash the fucking state.